Hey guys, it's Alicia. I was just getting ready to make some banana bread, so I thought I would hop on here real quick and just show you how I do it. Now this is my mom's recipe. This is a old school recipe. I don't know when it dates exactly to, but it is an older recipe. I would say probably 50s. And it is, in my opinion, one of the best banana breads I have ever tried. Now I'm a little biased because it is my mother's recipe, but still, absolutely delicious banana bread. So I thought I'd show you real quick how I make it. First off, obviously you're gonna need bananas. The recipe calls for three overripe bananas. I've got four, I'm gonna just use four because I wanna use these up. And that's not a problem, it's just gonna make it maybe a little moister and more banana flavor, which is totally fine by me. Next, I've got two cups all-purpose flour, three quarter cup granulated sugar. Back here in my handy dandy little antique nut grinder, I've got about a half cup chopped walnuts, some vanilla, and then down here I have three tablespoons of lemon juice. The recipe calls for either lemon juice, orange juice, or sour milk. And that's how you know this is an older recipe. The fact that it's calling for sour milk. Here I've got half cup butter, and then there is a half teaspoon salt and two teaspoons baking soda. And that is all you need to make this. So first thing is you wanna get your oven preheating to 350, and then we will get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your butter, and I uh, messed this up because I put it in the microwave. You want softened butter. I left this in a little bit too long, which I tend to always do because I never get my butter out to soften. So, it'll be okay though. You want your butter in there and then your granulated sugar. And then we're gonna just cream that. I've got that cream, so now I'm gonna add my bananas in. And it says to add crushed bananas, but I don't got time to crush bananas, so I'm gonna just throw my bananas in, and this is how I always do it. I don't ever crush them beforehand, and it works out just fine. So I'm gonna throw all my bananas in, and then I'm going to mix this up real well until the bananas are, in fact, nice and crushed and incorporated in there with that sugar butter mixture. And while that is mixing together, I'm gonna to take my flour, salt, and baking soda, and I'm gonna just mix them together. Okay, I've got that well mixed, and I realize it looks really gross, but no worries, it will be delicious. I'm gonna add my lemon juice in there, and my eggs, and a little bit of vanilla. I do about a teaspoon, maybe a little more. And now I'm gonna just mix this all together. Got that all mixed in. Now I'm gonna add my flour and salt and baking soda. And mix that, just until it's all mixed together. You don't wanna over mix it. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm gonna add in my chopped walnuts. And I'm gonna just fold those in by hand. And now I'm gonna take a well greased bread pan here and I'm gonna just pour this in. And now this is ready to bake. And again, it's at 350 for about 45 to 50 minutes. I actually like mine a little bit on the underdone side to where it's almost kind of still gooey in the middle, but I will bake this the uh, full time that it's supposed to be so you can see what it is supposed to look like. And speaking of gooey in the middle, am I the only one that still will lick the batter out of the bowl? I know that's a big no-no anymore with eggs and all that, having salmonella and all that good stuff, but I still do it. It reminds me of being a kid and it hasn't gotten me yet. Anyway, I will put this in the oven and I will be back to show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, and here it is. It has been 50 minutes and this is done. It might still be a little bit moist in the center, but like I said, that's how I like it anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it now because I would rather have it a little more moist than overdone. But to me, 
it looks beautiful, so I pulled it. I will slice it up and show you what it looks like inside once it cools. And here it is, cut out. Um, this is actually pretty much all that is left. It got attacked by my family, so it is really good stuff. And as I think you can see, close in there, it's super moist, super tasty, and just probably, like I said before, my favorite banana bread I have ever had. I love this stuff and I definitely like to make it whenever I have extra bananas I need to do something with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.